Reference is really a starting point to really understand and comprehend our type. But the type becomes even more useful when we really understand and explore the combinations of our preferences and how they interact to create our personality. You'll also notice when you look at the type table that it's organized so that similar types are next to each other and sections of the type table are organized in order to see qualities that are shared by groups or within the group of type has an order of hierarchy and so we look at their order of hierarchy we're going to notice that they really tend to very first and foremost concentrate on that dominant introverted sensing now this is going to be where they rely first however because it's introverted it's not going to be seen as often by others Instead, what's going to be seen is the auxiliary extroverted thinking. And that means that they're not really going to share very much of their sensing observations and memories, except with close people. However, what people are going to see instead is standards and judgments, desire for structure and schedules. And they're really not going to see some of that very individualistic, humorous, even some of those private reactions that come with that introverted sensing. Their tertiary function is a feeling function and then lastly they're going to have their inferior function as extroverted intuition and this is what's going to appear when they become most distressed or stressed in life total perception and the judgment part of our preferences which is going to be sensing and intuition plus our thinking or our feeling is what influences our career choices and our interests so our sensing and our thinking like to focus on the facts and they're going to handle those facts through a very objective experiential method. They are very practical. They're very analytical and they tend to be very interested in technical skills and the objects and the facts. Some great careers for an ST would be applied science, business, administration, banking. Uh, production is a great way for them as well as law enforcement and even construction. Energy and the external orientations put together, which would be our extroverts or introverts with our judges or our perceivers, is really part of how people are going to respond to change. So our IJs are part of the decisive introverts. Now for decisive introverts, when they see changes or when they're first proposed, they're going to take those changes and they're going to start to check them out against their internal perceptions. Their internal perceptions being an idea, data, or a big picture. Now, if those changes fit with what they already think should happen, they're going to move quickly to implement them. However, if those changes don't fit, they will dig in their heels and become very immovable opponents to the change. Looking at our judgment with our external orientations is about how we deal with our leadership, management, and follower styles. And when we look at them within the T and J, we notice that these are our logical decision makers. The logical decision makers tend to be very analytical and they're decisive leaders. They're going to make their decisions based on principles and systems, like a standard operating procedure. They love overall impacts and they're going to have a very rational assessment of the outcomes. At times they can tend to be tough minded, especially when it tends to look at the implementation of these decisions because they need things done on a schedule and in a certain amount of time. Now they also are very effective implementers of policies as long as they have respect toward the leader. Next, we want to look at our energy plus our perception. Now our energy and our perception is how we are going to use our information. An IS, an introverted sensing, this is a part of our thoughtful realists. The thoughtful realist believes that knowledge is important to establish what is true. Lastly, we're going to look at our temperaments. Temperaments are very interesting when it comes to each of the different personality types. The temperament for the SJ is considered the guardian. Now the temperament is based on our assumptions, our models of personality, and how we complement each other. 
The guardian is one that hungers for responsibility and predictability. They're going to like those standard operating procedures and they like them in order to protect and to preserve. They're very serious, they're very concerned. They trust the past, they trust predictions, they love traditions, they love authorities, and they think in terms of comparisons, sequences, and patterns or an association. They like to focus on the logistics in order to support people, maintain organizations, and achieve objectives. But more than anything, they need security, stability, and a sense of belonging. Remember that the purpose of learning about our MBTI type and the, those dynamics is really to help us in understanding ourselves and to better build and to aid in developing our relationships with others. And this is accomplished when we look at the combinations of our preferences, the dynamics within our personality type, as well as the development and the growth that is available to our psychological type.